Welcome to the second edition of BFC TV. I'm Alexa Nahar. I'm Sharan Kukreja. And in this episode, we'll be talking to one of our new blues, Michael Collins. We'll also be doing an Osano Johnson face-off, a caption contest, fan moment of the week, and catching up with a mysterious magician. So let's get right into it. February has been a roller coaster ride for the Blues with the team picking up 9 points from 6 games. We had a 3-0 win against Shillong Lijong FC at the Fortress, a 2-0 away loss to Mumbai FC and a 1-0 away win against East Bengal. We also had a 2-1 loss to Sporting at home, a 4-1 win against DSK Shivajins and a heartbreaking loss to Mohan Bagan 2-0 at home. What a month it has been. And a man who has been in the thick of all of this is our new signing from England, Michael Collins. We caught up with him for a quick chat to see what he's all about. When I was 10 years old, I was playing for um, a local side back in England called Brighouse Town and Huddersfield Town came to watch me and asked me over for a trial and um, did well. Ended up signing with them and then stayed there till I was 24. I managed to score in the FA Cup um, a few years back against Chelsea and at the time, Chelsea were the, the top dogs in England and all my family was there, so it was, it was a big day for me. So I'd, I'd have to pick that one out purely because of the status of the fact that it was against Chelsea. And I've got a, a brother um, and a sister, one brother's older and sister's younger. My family now is my fiance Sarah, and my little girl, Nyla. My family were a very close-knit um, group. Obviously, I've got my mum and dad as well. Um, and we've always been like that, you know, uh, very close. and. That's the, that's the hardest part about coming out here is obviously being away from family, especially when I am so close to them. Oh, tough question. Um, I'd say it's, it's, it's tougher being a footballer purely because, you know, regardless of what my little girl does, she always puts a smile on my face. And football, you've got to kind of be at it and, and, and winning for that to always have that same feeling. I'd say they're a lot more vocal and, and a lot more behind the team and one thing that impressed me probably more than anything was after the Mwan Bagan game the other day which was obviously a, a disappointing result and we were all gutted was the, uh, you know, the support they gave us leaving the field and that makes quite a big difference. Um, you know, so far from me being here they've been very good with me and very understanding and, and, and appreciating that you know, it might take me a, a couple of weeks just to get up to speed but you know, so far the fans have been brilliant and um, I can't really ask for, for much more in, in, in the time that I've been here. There's a few. Um, Vanif likes to uh, have a little play around and, and uh, he's been winding me up a little bit. Siam's a madman. Um, he's crazy. But all in a good way, you know, you need characters like that in your dressing room. And so far, as I say, it's been very enjoyable and I just, you know, want to make sure now that the results pick up and that we finish the season as strongly as possible in all competitions. Exciting times ahead for the new Blues midfielder. I have never imagined Vanif to be much of a prankster. Okay, I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. So next up, we have a caption contest. Take a look at this picture where we have the skipper laughing at Shankar after he's just scored a goal and he's kind of in pain. Yeah, that's the skipper, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so send us your comments on Facebook, Twitter and the comment section below. You could stand a chance to win a special something signed by the skipper himself. India team captain Sunil Chatri won't sign. Autograph. By the way, how was your Valentine's Day? Not bad at all, but I think the players definitely had more fun. <laughs> wow, okay. Speaking of Valentine's Day, we put the club's best loved pair, Asano and Johnson, to the test to find out how much they really know about each other. Well, they play in central defence together, they travel together and they're roommates. They also live together. So what could they possibly not know about each other? Let's find out for ourselves. Uh, Curtis is here. Ronaldinho. Um, Ronaldo. Regino. Arsenal. Barra, Middlesbrough. Blue. Correct. I'm going to say red for Middlesbrough. Blue. Snake. <laughs> no, that's his worst no one. Chance. That's his worst one. Uh, 
Favourite animal? He watches Natural uh, Geograph Channel, so... Yeah. Tiger. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, I know his favourite animal. It's a pug. <laughs> it's a pug. <laughs> Too late to answer now, though, isn't it? The pug. He's got pug tops um, and pug pants. Yes, yes, yes. It's a dog. Mm. I don't like dogs. I'm scared of dogs. I'm scared of dogs? Yeah, I'm scared of dogs. I don't even know what my favourite animal is to be no, fair, so he's got no really, chance. They never really speak to animals, did they? Probably would have to, I like this. Denzel Washington? He's nailed it. Yeah. Um, you should get this one. I'll give you a close enough, Chris. Do another clue. Why is Cyrus? Cyrus? My name is? No. <laughs> Couldn't be any further away. <laughs> Ten. Nine. Nine point five. Nine. <laughs> 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 you spin out. It's just ten now, actually. Cholo? Um, it's because he sits at the front of the bus and that's all he says to the drive when he wants to go first. Jonathan, you like saying Ria, 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 Ria. That's <laughs> not even a word, is it? I just made that one up. I don't know, bus drivers to say the same. Ria, 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 Ria. Clearly, they need to spend more time with each yeah, other. Yeah, probably. The Blues fans turn up week in, week out at the fortress and never disappoint. And this is a segment where we pick the best fan moment of the week. And this week we have. A, a new, new banner. banner! The West Block Blues are really breaking bad with this one. They've put in a lot of effort and clearly it's seen. Nothing like this has been seen in Indian football and there are more banners to come. Amazing effort, you guys. During our travels, we've chanced upon a mysterious figure. Any idea who that could be? That's right. Eugene Singlingdo was caught on camera during training, so we caught up with him for a quick update on how he is. Hi, guys. Eugene here. I know I've been out for uh, quite some time now. I sustained an injury against Mumbai FC. I think you guys must have seen it. I'm on the recovery stage and I've been on holiday for a week. I went to Goa but it wasn't the best of holidays because I'd rather be on the pitch, you know. Things are looking very positive now. I've been on crutches for quite some time. Now I'm walking without them. I'm on a treadmill. I'm doing a lot of recovery sessions. I started a pool session today and I'm doing a lot of cycling so that I'm on the right track with my fitness. Yeah, I've had a lot of time off, you know, so like my days have been going very slow. Not like the days where I go to train, after train I'm back home and so I just end up listening to music and most of my time is done that and then cooking for myself. <laughs> yeah, so and I do like to play the guitar so I'd like to suggest you guys a couple of songs or maybe four to five songs. Uh, there's a song called Snuff by Slipknot. Then there's a song called Victim by Avenged Sevenfold. For anyone who cares. Then uh, I've been trying to learn the song called Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. I think you should. I think that's a good song. And my favorite band Bling One Two Two for sure. You should listen to Dump Dump Wheat. And if you're a gospel person, you'd like to listen to the song No Longer I by Matt Redman. I will sing of the love. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys soon playing on the ground. Well, that's some really good news for the Blues going into an important part of the season. Don't forget, the AFC Cup is on and our boys are currently in Lao getting ready to face off against Lao Toyota FC. In our AFC group games, we face Johor, who are familiar foes. Lao Toyota, of course, and Ayavadi. That's it from us on episode 2 of BFC TV. Stay tuned for more fun stuff next week. Also, don't forget to subscribe to us. See, See you, you next time. time.